I've been working here over 31 years. I mean, I've seen a lot of violence. This is more violence than I've ever seen. But first at six, the city in crisis. Homicide detectives have eight new cases on their hands after a weekend of nonstop violence. This is Eyewitness News at 6, and we are streaming live on CBSN Philly. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartaglia. Police are pleading for people to put down the guns following senseless shootings that went on all weekend long. Mm. The gun violence crisis is affecting communities all over the city. Let's get straight to Joe Holden, who joins us outside of police headquarters. Joe? Good evening. Let's focus on just the last two hours. Eyewitness News at 4, the homicide count was at 185. Eyewitness News at 5, 186. And within the last hour, Philadelphia police telling us a double shooting leaves two men in critical condition. One of the wounded, a 72-year-old man. Homicide rates are soaring in Philadelphia, 186 as of an hour and a half ago. Homicide by shooting cases have increased 40% from 2020, according to records reviewed by CBS3. A deadly Mother's Day weekend left seven dead and 25 people shot. Police say responsibility to make change lies largely within the community. It's up to the community. It's up to the, these individuals that are, that, are, that are committing these acts of violence. They have to take a step back and say, wow, like, is this really worth it? Are we going to continue to, to, go, to go in this direction? As percentages year over year go, Philadelphia is double digits ahead of homicides even in Chicago. That city is experiencing a 20% climb versus Philadelphia's 36% spike. Investigators point to anomalies like the leap in retaliatory shooting cases in Alney. That figure year over year across the city is up a whopping 85%. With warmer weather trends of increased gun violence on the doorstep, police commanders will tell you they are very concerned. This is more violence than I've ever seen. So um, we're very concerned. We need people uh, to put down the guns, to know that if someone has a gun, they got to let us know so we could try to intervene before that gun gets used in a crime. Surely the statistics are alarming. How about the most startling one? Involves children and teens. This time last year, there were eight juvenile homicide victims under the age of 18. Now for 2021, so far, the number is 20. That is a 150% year over year increase. Live outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters, this is Joe Holden, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Startling indeed, Joe. Thank you.